Oh, wow, what a forearm. This is it, guys. Royal Rumble action kicking off here. Nice. Harsh impact. Oh, what a great escape. Wow, I cannot believe it, Michael. Dodges trouble there. You got that right, Michael. That had elimination written A all over it. Oh, who's coming out eliminated. next? Who is it? Uh-oh. Here he comes, fellas. And he looks determined as ever. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Big time slam. Vicious. Oh, it slips out of trouble. That'll come back to haunt you, Cole. It's there! But he's got to capitalize now. Nice job getting away there. A competitor. Jeez. Listen to this crowd. Count the next one in. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. It's Kofi Kingston. Close line. What a stomp. Good grief. And the elimination attempt fails to the surprise of absolutely nobody. Nice job getting out of trouble there. Talk about a great escape. Inverted suplex. That hurt. Incredible power. Don't do this. Kofi Kingston. Right, here we go. Number five. Look at the look on his face. Oh, yeah. He looks super focused. Great escape. Wow, I cannot believe it, Michael. The Team Dream has been eliminated. This guy has what it takes to make major impact here. Yeah, you have to expect to make some noise here tonight. Going for the big one. Oh, brutal. After a decision by then WWE President Jack Tunney, the WWE Championship was declared vacant. Tunney ruled that the winner of the 1992 World War we are up to seven already. Look out! Here he comes, guys, and you know he can be a major difference maker here. According to sports entertainment historians, the 1992 Royal Rumble will always be considered one of the greatest Rumble matches of all time. He's looking at it. And now, we're about to see number eight right now. And now it looks like
looks like Chad Gable is going to get involved. Go for the ride. Oh. Guys, I don't think we can watch a Royal Rumble match without mentioning the match is WWE Hall of Famer Pat Patterson, a true legend. Boom, what impact. Ooh. Nice job getting out of trouble there. Talk about a great escape. Reflecting a bit more on Pat Patterson creating the Rumble, I can tell you that the concept wasn't initially welcomed with great fondness. <laughs> Imagine pitching a battle royal that starts with just two people. On paper, that's a tough sell. But when it comes to Patterson, you have to trust that he knows what he's doing. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Boom, what a kick. Oh, nasty impact. And gets out of harm's way. Oh, boy, that could have been bad, Michael. Not sure this better is the chance of an elimination. Well, I don't know, Paul. I kind of like this move. One more look at it. Who could enter at number nine B? Things are about to heat up here, guys. There's the elimination, Byron. That was amazing. Harsh impact. Now, spear! The damage has been done. Jeez, it feels like I have the same song on my playlist on repeat. You know, guys, where a superstar enters really can make a difference. Of course, we've seen early entrants do well in the past, but there's probably no better advantage than entering toward the latter portions of the match. There's the corner! That could have been disastrous, Byron. No doubt. In fact, I'm a little surprised we didn't see an elimination there. No, there's the reversal. Hard to argue your point about the advantage of entering late, Michael, and I'm sure guys like John Cena, The Undertaker, and Triple H would all agree. Of course, those three all won Royal Rumble matches after entering at the number 30. Whatever, the 1995 Shawn Michaels would laugh at that notion. Nailed it. Oh, clothesline. He looks a bit off his game here. To be expected, though, it's not like he's in there with a the slouch, guys. Well, he had to expect to take oh, some man. punishment here, right? I mean, it'd be crazy for him to think he was going to walk away from this match completely unscathed. Royal Rumble was next entrance, getting a ready to come out. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy.